my stuff. And by the way, very little of what I'm covering today is original material. Uh, everything I've learned, I've learned from others. Uh, so with the, uh, with the Upside Down Pineapple Cake, it's a really cool thing to do. You can you look up on YouTube the recipe and how to do it. There are tons of waterless cookware videos on YouTube that will teach you how to cook with the stuff and some fun demos that you can do with your customers. But the Upside Down Pineapple Cake is an easy one. Another one that I do almost all the time, so on every single appointment, I do the lighter because it takes two seconds and it makes a big impression. If they show any interest whatsoever, I fry an egg because frying an egg is one of the most difficult things to do, especially with olive oil, uh, to show how it doesn't stick, but it's really quick and you get a free egg when you're done. Um, and so I always like to cook, I always take a fry pan and I take the saucepan on my appointments and I like to fry an egg with them because it really is pretty impressive when you see how quickly it fries an egg. By the way, if you ever do scrambled eggs, my roommate, the first time when I moved in with him and I brought my Cutco cookware with me, he's one of these very rudimental routine guys that does the same thing over and over again. He always makes his omelets in the morning. One morning he decided to use the Cutco pan. He scrambled up his eggs, put them in the pan, went into the fridge to get the cheese and everything he wanted to put in his omelet. When he came back, the eggs were cooked, right? <laughs> so they cook really, really fast. Cutco cookware is gonna cut your cooking time in about half, depending on what you're cooking. You can also cook with less butter, less fat, less oil. You can cook chicken on a fry pan with no oil, no butter, and it comes out delicious. Um, and so it's a really great thing to do and very impressive for your uh, very health conscious customers. So the reason it's healthier for you is it uses less butter, less fat, less oil. It increases flavor and increases appearance. The reason for that is it retains a lot of the moisture. So one of the, uh, in addition to the aluminum, which is gonna heat the pan evenly, right? Our lids, the way that they sit in our pans create a vapor seal. So normally when you're cooking, you know how steam comes out of the side of the pans? <laughs> What you'll notice with the cocoa cookware is that doesn't happen. As the food starts to release moisture, as the vegetables start to release moisture, it evaporates into steam, it goes to escape the pan, but it gets caught in the vapor seal, and it turns into condensation, which falls right back onto the food. One of the dishes, dishes that I make all the time as a college student, I can do um, in a pan like this, because it cooks evenly from all sides, you can actually put a chicken breast angled up on the corner here, if you don't have enough space, and it'll cook on the side just as well as it cooks on the bottom. So in this pan, you can actually do up to 10 chicken breasts, depending on how big they are, and it's really impressive how quick they cook. But if you were to have maybe one of the smaller pans, or even if you wanted to use this one, I'll put some chicken breasts in there, no butter, no fat, no oil. I just put them straight on the pan with a little bit of seasoning. I cover it for seven minutes. After seven minutes, when you take the lid off, you're gonna see all the juice from the chicken at the bottom. And it's like impressive how much juice that chicken lets out. And it's crazy to think that all of those nutrients are typically evaporated into the air. They say that one of the healthiest people in your house is your kitchen sink. Because when you boil your vegetables, when you cook and you drain out that water, that's all of the nutrients coming out of your food. One of my nutritionist customers told me one of the healthiest things you can do is boil vegetables, then throw away the vegetables and drink the water. Because the vegetables have no nutrition once you boil them, it's all in the water. So with the vapor seal, it's gonna allow to keep all that moisture in there. So what I do, seven minutes, right? I have the cookware, I have the chicken in there with the cookware, uh, sorry, the chicken in the cookware. After seven minutes, you get all the juice to the bottom of the pan, and then you throw your vegetables in. Again, no oil, no water, and they're gonna cook in the juices from the chicken, and it tastes awesome. Now, one note, if you wanna brown your chicken, okay, because when you do that, and you put it with the cover, it's gonna release a lot of those juices, but the meat, if you didn't season it, is gonna look a little pale, almost like you boiled it it's actually gonna be the healthiest way to do it because it retains the most uh, nutrients. So I'll do it that way if I'm gonna cut it up and put it in a salad, or if I'm gonna cut it up and I'm gonna put it in like a pasta sauce. But if I'm gonna eat the chicken, I might wanna brown it first. So the first uh, three minutes, I'll do it uncut. And when you uncover it, that'll create, uh, that'll allow it to brown on the bottom. And then you cover it when you put your vegetables in, it'll still retain a lot of that moisture. But it looks just like if you fried it with that nice, crisp finish even without any oil, without any butter. And that vapor seal, again, is gonna lock in all of those nutrients. You can also do some pretty cool waterless recipes. So there are a lot of recipes that you'll see that will have you begin cooking and then turn off the heat, move the pan off of the burner, and allow it to keep cooking for another seven minutes. So one of the things, because the aluminum is such a great conductor of heat, it stays hot for a really long time. So you wanna be really careful when you turn off the heat, that pan's gonna stay hot for a while. You can still burn yourself even five minutes later if you go to touch the pan. It'll continue to cook your food. 
So make sure that when you're done cooking, if you're not, if you don't want it to keep cooking, you need to take the food out of the pan. Okay. Uh, another cool feature is our lid come off here for easy cleaning. This is a thermal resin material, very similar to what you see in the um, in the handles of our knives. They melt at about 350 degrees. Uh, the handle has a sugar ergonomic design, which is super comfortable, and I encourage you guys to feel it. So I'm going to pass this around here so you guys can check that out. So it's healthier for you, increases flavor, cuts cooking times in half, uh, five ply, perfect fit cover, vapor seal, stay cool knobs, and the sure grip handle design. Those are the seven main things. Yes? Are they stackable like in like a, a cabinet? Question. Very good question. Uh, let me pull that up right here. So if you can see here, I have the stack of cookies. Yeah. This is our Dutch oven and high dome cover. This thing is awesome, okay? You can actually do roasts in there. You can do 21 ears of corn with half a cup of water right in there. So let's say you're doing a stew or some sort of a soup for a holidays and you're running out of burners. You don't have anywhere else to keep cooking. But you have some sort of a sauce or something light that you want to be able to cook. You can actually stack our cookware and from the burner to the second pan, you're only going to lose four degrees of heat because of how well that aluminum contributes, uh, distributes the heat. So you can cook right on top as well. And again, online, in these books, there are a bunch of different recipes for how to cook them. Yeah, very good question. Did you guys hear that? This is important. This is important. So induction cookware, is, induction stove tops are one of the coolest things. If you've never cooked on induction, they're awesome. But they require a special material in the pans in order to be able to cook on them. Our cookware was updated in 2010, and all of our cookware is now works on induction except for the double grip. Everything else is induction safe. So that's a great selling point because even if the customers don't have induction, induction's grown. It's the next big thing. In the next 15, 20 years, we're going to see way more induction stoves in homes. And so let customers know if you move, if you upgrade your kitchen, you're not going to have to invest in a new set of pans. This is going to cover it forever. Um, and induction cookware is not cheap, so yes. For time's sake, I'm not going to go into that. Induction is awesome, but we don't sell induction stuff. So if you're curious, look it up. But it's just a little bit of a longer explanation. Are they dishwasher safe? Cup cookware is dishwasher safe. Uh, so like you were talking about doing eggs earlier, like normally like I would make like a like a sunny side up egg and it would like stick to the pan a lot of the times so if I don't do a ton of oil. So like what makes it uh, not stick because it doesn't... We're going to cover that okay. next. Now with oil, that's a good question. The waterless feature, okay, pay attention because this is something that could, could cause you some problems. With the waterless feature, if you do not... Um, the waterless is going to be for anything that's a little bit of a fattier meat. So your chicken, pork, some of the uh, steaks. If you have something that's leaner, or if you're doing an egg, or if you want to fry something, you do need some oil. You'll just use less than anything else, than any of the other cookware out there. Uh, now, for time's sake, well, just give me one second. Okay. I'll get back to the question. How are we doing on time? Ten minutes? Okay, cool. uh, so you can go online and learn more on the Cook Cookware website. This is a quick video uh, of the, the Lathenfall thrall effect. This is going to answer your question on why stuff doesn't stick with our cookware. Well, the Lathenfall effect is a phenomenon named after Johann Gottlob Lathenfrost, who published a manuscript on the subject back in around 1756. So here I have a standard hot plate which I'm going to heat up and drop water on. Now as you can see, as the plate is heating up, the water just evaporates like normal. But what happens when we heat the plate up even further? Watch what starts to happen to the water as the plate heats above 200 degrees C. Interesting. The water starts acting in a rather bizarre way. It's just rolling and bouncing around the plate. Why isn't it evaporating? Whoa. Well, the Leyden frost effect occurs when the droplet contacts the highly heated plate. And upon contact, the bottom of the droplet instantly vaporizes, which forms a protective layer under the droplet, allowing it to skid across the plate with reduced evaporation. All right, so this is showing how the water evaporates. Because our cookware cooks on such a high temperature, much hotter than many of the other pans that you'll use at home, 
it allows that to happen. Uh, this was the story I said about my grandmother who's had it for quite a while. We're not going to be doing any cooking. Um, we're not going to have time for names and uses. Now, because you're cooking with less butter, less fat, and less oil. Now, notice I say less, not none. Okay? If you're doing chicken, pork, or a fattier meat, you can get away without using any oil or butter. But if you're doing eggs, um, or you're doing something that's a little bit of a leaner meat, you might want a little bit of oil or lubrication. But you're going to use a lot less than you would on any other pan. So it's very important when you sell the cookware that you sell the Cutco spatula. One of the great things about our spatula is it's super thin. And that's going to allow you to get right in between the meat and the pan. Normally when you're cooking, you have a nice thick layer of oil or butter or something that makes it easy for a plastic spatula to get in between. But when you're cooking with less oil, less butter, like an egg, you really want something that's going to get right in there. Because it's stainless steel, you can use metal on metal. The only time I ever use plastic is if I'm scrambling an egg because it's kind of nice to have a plastic spatula for that. But I always make sure that my cookware set, they always get at least the spatula, if not the rest of the kitchen tool set, um, because it just goes really well with our cookware. Uh, this is the dedicated set, uh, spiring. One of the important things when you're cooking with the cookware is that the pan is two to three quarter, uh, two thirds of the way full. That's actually important regardless of what you're cooking, but because you're using less butter and less fat and less oil, you want to make sure that the pan is, is, a, is about three quarters of the way full when you're cooking. As far as prices go, uh, this is some comfort cookware, it's a 12 piece set. Now they say 12 pieces, right? But they count the lid, they count the instruction manual that comes in the box, right? Um, it's actually not a full 12 piece set. And you can see this is straight off the William and Sonoma website. This is about four years old. So I'm assuming the prices have gone up a bit since then. Still competitive price wise with us. Uh, a lot of times you'll see something with a chef's name on it. They put a chef's name on stainless steel pots and pans and charge double. So always be very cautious when you see something that's branded with a chef's name. You're going to pay more for a lower quality. All Clad is awesome. It's the best brand you can get in stores, but again, it's stainless steel. So you're going to have the same issues you're going to have with any stainless steel pan. Uh, here's another one with a chef's name and a fancy little design on it. And they mark up the price. Four pans on sale for $1,200. And again, these are four-year-old prices. So, um, instead of going over the close, I want to take a second. One of the things that I do with the prices here, if you want to drop this down, the complete set of cookware is a price that you won't have in your um, price list. This is going to be the accomplished set of cookware plus the accessories, the stock pot, the wok, the double griddle, and the griddle. If you were to buy it from another company, you'd be looking at about $6,000. But because Cutco, we make less commission on the product. Uh, we pass those savings on to the customers. It comes out to 5107, but it's on sale today. 5107 is the price if you purchase them individually, the retail value, right? But as a set, you get it for uh, 4239, and the payments on that come out to be 910 a month. That's an $800 savings. This is the family set. This is going to be the accomplished cookware. I apologize if the names don't match. Uh, the basic set is going to be the dedicated. You can see the price here. So again, that first number would be the price from our competitors, an equivalent set. The second number is the retail value if purchased separately. The third number is the set price. And then of course you have the payments. And then down here you have the savings from the retail value to the set price for all three of these sets. So a couple of things to take away, some action steps. Are we still writing this? These are good prices to have because they're not necessarily available in other places. These are the prices I like to use. So just to wrap things up, a couple of uh, resources that you can use. Make sure to utilize this to reach back to your past customers. If you go under, I'm going to hand these out here. This has some information on how to order your cookware. But you can go right on Vector Connect under all about our product, buy samples, and you can purchase the Cutco samples. You can also go on Vector Connect and watch some videos. So make sure this is the right thing. <laughs> And Josh Miller has some great videos on YouTube with waterless food. All right, thank you guys. Give him a hand.
Just go, like row by row. Look. 